Hey guys, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna go over some potential Mother's Day gifts ideas. So, obviously, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you can tell by the background. I'm sure you guys can hear my little ones. I am a mother, I have two babies, and these are just some ideas that I think I'm gonna leave this in just to show how real it is. I'm gonna go over some gift ideas that I think would be nice to receive or thinking of what other moms might want. I don't know. And I'm gonna try to keep this not to be so typical, but like kind of typical Mother Day's gifts ideas. I don't know, but let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I wanna say, well, okay, let me preface by saying this. I'm personally a tea drinker, so I do like mugs, but, but if you've gotten your mom a mug, maybe don't get her more mugs unless she really, really likes them or collects them or needs them. But I feel like if you've gotten like one or two mugs in the past, don't get your mom a mug. But otherwise, get her a mug. So anyways, so that's that. Mugs are great, they're cute, nice. I personally love mugs, but I wouldn't wanna be getting mugs for every gift, every occasion. That's just me throwing that out there. Now, that also goes along with like those little knickknacks, like those little, um, like the plaques and stuff like that that say like mom and blah, 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 blah. It's cute, it's nice. And if it is obviously something that means a lot to you or to your mom and you feel like you need to get it, obviously go get it. Obviously, I mean, just get your mom whatever you want, but these are just some ideas. But if you go ahead and get your mom like those little plaques with like a picture of mom and daughter or mom and son or whoever, um, Maybe don't get that again if you've gotten them in the past. I feel like they're sweet, but also like they do take up room. So unless like they actually, your mom actually uses them, maybe pass on that. But okay, let's get into it. Something that I personally like, and I feel like it's like really big now are essential oils. I bought myself like a little diffuser with a couple of different oils, but I can definitely see how people get like sucked into it and drawn into it because they're great. I love like the actual like steam or whatever that come, the mist that comes out and the different smells. I like that you can kind of combine them. I personally like to either light a candle. I'm a huge fan of candles, but I know like everyone's kind of getting away from candles and they're into this whole movement to stop using candles, but I really do like candles. So candles for me, I love, I am picky with like my scent though. So if you know your mom well and she likes candles, get her a candle or the essential oil diffuser with like a couple of different oils and things like that. Personally, I think that's great. With that, I feel like especially now you, can think of like a whole like at home pampering thing. So right with the essential oils and things like that, I think you can also go ahead and get maybe like a nice robe. I'm a huge fan of robes. I love like a big, soft, cozy robe, maybe some cozy slippers. I'll try to leave links to things below if I can find any things like from Amazon or wherever that can be like maybe affordable, but also really good. But I know like a lot of these fuzzy slippers are very in now, like the sandal looking slippers. So maybe things like that. Also with the whole pampering theme, I guess, if you wanna get her like a nice professional hair mask or professional shampoo and conditioner, if she has color treated hair, if she has like blonde hair, maybe a nice toning shampoo or toning mask, especially since like obviously in these times, salons are closed and maybe your mom can't go and pamper herself like she normally would or would like to. So I think that's a really good idea. Different professional hair care. And I stress professional because like, for a lot of people with re like obviously getting something like shampoo or hair products at a professional level is like a treat and so why not treat your mom with something like that in addition to like the hair mask and things like that maybe get different equipment so like blow dryers would be great curling irons flat irons um i know they have like the the hair wraps like with the towel like the towel hair wraps things like that like things that maybe aren't necessary but she would like to have but just hasn't had 
the chance to get it or doesn't want to get it. Things like that are great. That also goes for skincare, like different uh, facial cleansers or masks or serums, creams, things like that, that maybe like she wouldn't normally splurge on herself or she does, but maybe she doesn't want to do it right now. If you want to splurge on her, go ahead and get her like really good skincare. I know everyone's freaking out about like their nails. I never get my nails done. I always do them myself, but maybe it's some type of like do-it-yourself manicure kit. I personally love Zoya nail polishes. I feel like they last really, really well and they are better for you than like the other nail polishes have like a whole bunch of crap in it. And I know everyone's like into like these press on nails now. So there's so many different types. So maybe get like a whole little kit with different press on nails if your mom misses the nail salon. If you know her specific scent or if she has like a signature perfume, I feel like you can't go wrong with getting perfume for your mom on Mother's Day. I don't know. Again, perfume is a very personal thing. So make sure you really do know what your mom likes or what she may like. <laughs> or, um, <laughs> She's singing. Or also I know that they do have like perfume subscription services, which might be really cool. And that leads me on to the next thing, which is subscription services. So for basically like either a subscription box or things like that, whether it's something like I personally do Ipsy and BoxyCharm. I know a lot of people do like the FabFitFun. Um, I know there's like the Sephora Play. Is that still around? The Allure one is also around. I'll try to leave a list of those down below as well, but personally I do use Ipsy and BoxyCharm and I do love those so much. Now they are, the ones that I do are geared more towards obviously people who use makeup. So maybe if your mom doesn't use makeup, don't go in that direction. But I think subscription services in general are awesome because it's like a gift that keeps on giving. And I know a lot of them do offer like maybe a month to month or like a six month thing or a year thing so if you want to just like go ahead and pay ahead of time so you don't have to worry about like a monthly bill a lot of them do offer things like that so that's just another idea especially i think in these days another one would probably be good is like a food subscription service so whether it's something like i know hello fresh is really good that's one that i've personally used i think i used I may have used Blue Apron maybe once, but HelloFresh is like my go-to and no, this video is not sponsored. Although HelloFresh, I do love your service and your products. So if you want to sponsor a girl. Yeah, so I do love HelloFresh and I think that's something great, especially these days since, you know, we're not really able to go out to restaurants and things like that. I personally grew up with like a home cooked meal every night on my table. And now I'm like, thank goodness I like to cook because I love doing that but I can totally see how moms get tired of cooking, tired of thinking of different recipes and things like that. Or if your mom maybe isn't the best cook or doesn't like cooking, it's super easy. They send you a box with like all the ingredients and the recipes and all you have to do is follow the instructions and cook and it's right there. So it's awesome. And I think there are also other ones that have like pre-cooked meals too, but I personally like things like HelloFresh because it's like a whole experience along with just like, here's your meal, here's your food, but you get to kind of experience it, so. Also, I mean, another thing is if you wanna do like grocery deliveries, I know that's really difficult now. There's different services for that as well. I think they offer gift cards. I have to double check. I will leave all of that, again, down below. Um, I personally do like Instacart. That's like my go-to grocery delivery service. I know a lot of people do Peapod for like stop and shop and things like that. I know there's also Shipped, but I don't know if th those are like full on groceries. I think that's just for like Target and stuff like that or CVS. Maybe like a grocery delivery service, especially now, especially if your mom is like older or a grandmother or something like that. Maybe do something like that it'll make their life easier. With that being said, with like the gift cards for those groceries or like vouchers, I guess at this point, maybe a gift card. I know a lot of people think it's like so impersonal and how can you give your mom a gift card, but maybe give her a gift card for something that she really likes or she really uses, something she can use now or use in the future when, you know, things kind of go back to normal. But I don't know, especially if your mom's picky, like if instead of getting her something that she might not like or she'll want to return, maybe get her a gift card, a generous gift card. 
maybe but also like know your mom if it's gonna offend her to get a gift card don't get her a gift card but if she's all about it get her a gift card also another thing that i'm like a huge advocate for let's talk about this real quick why was everyone so offended that that lady got a peloton for christmas what i have wanted the peloton for so long and my husband wanted to get it to get it for me because he knows how much i love spin and things like that and i love working out and i always told him like no 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 like it's not necessary i i have the gym membership like i do this and that well you know as far as time and stuff like that i haven't been to the gym in like four years almost oh my gosh well no okay that's a lie. I have gone here and there, but like I haven't gone regularly to the gym in like four years. But like besides a couple of random, random little things, otherwise I would just do things on my own. So anyway, fast forward to like the gym membership and also like a massage membership that I just, I did not have the time to go and use this. So long story short, I could have had like three Pelotons, maybe more at this point so anyway although it won't be here for mother's day maybe some type of like exercise thing either a peloton or there's other you know like workout programs that you can get and things like that i would say the peloton obviously because i personally love that and now that i'm saying that even though i didn't use like my massage membership i used to until i didn't have time because i put everything else in front of me but if your mom likes getting massages maybe getting like a membership for somewhere although you know that type of thing is hard now because you can't get that done now um so if you want to save for like when it's ready but that's why i'm trying to figure out like an at-home spa versus just like a spa gift certificate or something like that and then you have like you know the typical just homemade gifts especially i feel like if you have little little ones take the time to do something with your little ones make something cute for their mom more than just like a day-to-day -day drawing like do something that you can keep my favorites are like the frames with the handprints or like anything like that where you can look back like 10 20 years from now and be like oh my goodness like look how tiny their hands were look how tiny their feet were or something like that something with their picture on it something homemade and handmade and very sentimental another thing that i mean i don't know a lot of people think are really cheesy but maybe you know not necessarily like a coupon book because i don't know to each their own but like I don't want to be like, hey, I'm, you know, using my coupon for my foot massage tonight. Like, no, but like, just do something a little for your mom, just or your wife or whoever, <laughs> you know, give her a little massage, rub her feet, do the dishes, do something to just make her life a little bit easier. And with that, you know, just a simple card is nice too. You know, make sure it comes from the heart, not just like a generic, like, dear mom, love so-and-so, or dear whoever, love me and the kids, or whatever. Make sure that it's meaningful. So that's it. Basically, just different things to pamper herself, ways that you can pamper her, ways to show her that you're thankful for her, and just make her life a little bit easier. Let her just rest and just, like, be catered to. I think that would be a great gift. But anyways, okay, so those are the things that I think would be great for a mom. And yeah, if there's anything else that I could think of after posting this, I will try to leave all of that below. Let me know what other ideas you guys have for your moms, or if you're a mom, what would you like to receive? Let me know because us mamas, we gotta stick together. Okay, so I hope you guys like this. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, stay happy, and have a happy Mother's Day.